Hello everyone, welcome back to Unlimited Automation once again. So today we are going to discuss about yet another video regarding security testing using OWASP Zap. So as you guys already know in part 1 I covered basically the overview and installation like I discussed briefly about this tool. This is an open source UI application security testing tool so I discussed about it and I also showcased it like how will you install it and check with your UI application okay so I gave a rough demo and the overview of it in part 1 now in part 2 I will be discussing about the installation of dynamic SSL certificate so let's start Now, uh, you guys need to know why we are doing this. Now, as I already said, before that, let me just open Zap. So, as Zap is basically a UI application security testing tool, that means we need to check the UI pages, those are secured or not. So, that is why we need to have the SSL certificate of zap installed in our respective browsers like Firefox, chrome edge and so on and so forth right so that is the reason we need the certificate of this zap getting installed in order to check the security or in order to test security of our ui pages or ui application okay so that is what i'm going to discuss today now let me open zap meanwhile so i'm clicking on start so what you need to do is after you open zap you need to click on tools and then click on options now once you click on options you will be saying there is many options here one of them is dynamic SSL certificates so once you click on dynamic SSL certificates you will be seeing these options have been moved to network server certificates so I have to go to network so under network we have this server certificates now there are two types of certificates one is issued certificates we will not be considering this now we will only consider root CA certificate okay so let me just save it okay let me just save it so let me save in my downloads folder you can create any other folders if you want and save it there also so I'm saving it there I'm clicking on ok so I got my certificate saved and that is here okay you can give any name you want now what I need to do, I need to go to my Firefox. So let me just show you once again, how will you go to Firefox. So going to settings, from settings we have to go to privacy and security. Now under privacy and security, we have this option uh, certificates. So you just need to click on view certificates. And these are already some predefined certificates used for different other purpose. So what do you need to do? you need to import your zap certificate actually right so this zap certificate we need to open trust this ca not selecting the second one clicking on ok ok so if i scroll down Z attack proxy root CA software security device clicked on OK. So the dynamic SSL certificate got added into my Firefox browser. Simple. So now I can test my UI application using this Zap tool in my Firefox browser. Right now, let me go to Chrome. So from Chrome, let me go to settings okay 
so this is a new UI that we got from Chrome actually uh, so let me open Chrome but <coughs> currently seeing it's a new UI so let me just go to settings so finally I got settings the UI changed so after that I need to go to my privacy and security so under privacy and security then I have to go to my manage certificates Manage certificates. Okay, wait. Okay. So manage certificates. So now from here, I need to import. I need to import my certificate. Uh, uh, I made a mistake, so not here. I should have gone to trusted. Okay. So I should have gone to trusted. So whenever you are in Chrome, go to trusted root certificates under this manage certificates, go to trusted root certificates, import, import the certificate you want to. Okay. So here it's done. You can also view it. Okay. So it got added in Chrome also. So just added both of this. They just added the certificate in both of these browsers. So you can use under Firefox as well as under Chrome now. Okay. So I will be coming with the next part right after installation certificate whatever the whatever the things required we'll be discussing so in this part i discussed and showed how will you install the certificate okay dynamic access the certificate in your respective browser you can also do it for other browsers also so thank you guys keep watching unlimited automation and subscribe my channel